Min Woo Lee is an absolute baller. He bombs the driver. You're talking 190 ball speed. But he does have a few unique things in his swing. Particularly, he early extends quite a lot, which is really uncommon in today's teaching and with a lot of tour players. It's a move that a lot of the greats have done, Jack Nicholas being one of them. But it's really not gained a lot of popularity and it's almost demonised today in modern day golf instruction. We're going to have a look at Min Woo's swing and see what he does to generate that power and have a little look at the early extension. So we've got down the line on the left and face on on the right. So if you see from setup, very neutral setup, pretty neutral grip, um, just very textbook, done a great job with his coach there. Now if I put a line on his rear, we'll start to see how he does actually early extend in the backswing as well as the downswing. So let's take him halfway back. You'll see he does a great job of keeping the club outside of his hands. Very wide if we look from face on. Really, really wide. And I want you to also look at how stable that right hip is in that takeaway. There's not a lot of lateral move there. And look how wide he's got. He's got a little bit of wrist set there. Just loading the club. But lovely, lovely takeaway position. And then we'll move it halfway back. Let's bring him up. You'll see Min Woo does take the club quite quite up and out away from his body. And you'll really see that at the top of his swing. His hands, I know this camera angle is a little bit funky, but his hands are quite in front of his chest where you see most, most coaching now is popularising getting those hands a little bit deeper. I'll just put that line back on his butt. And then as we take him back halfway back, I want you to look as well, look how stable that head is staying. Really great rotation from the neck as he rotates into backswing. It's going to set the club nicely. they got that 90 degree angle. Look how little those hips have moved in terms of rotation and in terms of how they've not moved laterally off the ball and that head stayed really nice and stable. Just get rid of those lines. Just a lovely position for creating coil. He's also got that thorax over to his right leg. So he's although he's keeping stable, he's still getting behind the ball, which is great for driver. So if we bring it back, you'll start to see now how Min, Li, Min Woo Lee sorry, starts to lose a little bit. Can you see that on the butt? You can just see he loses that line there. Now that isn't actually sort of a backswing move. It's more him starting the downswing and really pushing through that lead toe. And we'll see this more on face arm. So we'll look at the static position firstly. You'll see really nice wide hands, wide arc there. Great for generating power. Look how stable that right hip is, how he's moved beautifully into that right hip how he's got a little bit of thorax over that right leg just a great powerful position it's very very textbook and a lot, a lot a lot of guys will have the flexibility to get in that position but this is where the magic happens for Min Woo in terms of speed what I want us to look at is look at this lead arm look at the thorax look at the pelvis watch now so as the club or the hands are still moving back there can you see how the belt loop is driving down the thorax is driving down see that down 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 he's creating a tremendous amount of torque and stretch shortening cycle through that midsection but also, I want to take note of this lead arm. So look at the shoulder joint. And look how it barely moves. But then look how the hands have moved quite a significant amount. Now, it's only subtle. But what he's doing there is he's loading all the fascia and all the muscles in this lead shoulder that create almost a slingshot effect that that's going to allow him to really propel this left arm off his body and create a tremendous amount of speed. Can you see that? It's hardly moved, 
but all the rest of his body is starting to move in transition and it just creates a tremendous amount of stretch around that shoulder joint. Now, if we also look, what it does is look at that trail arm, you'll see how that trail arm starts to disappear under the left. Now, what that's creating is that shallowing motion that's really talked about. And if we look from down the line, you'll see how that shaft will start to move down this way. You see, really drops that right arm is working internally and really creating a lot of shallowing and a lot of lag. Now, what you'll see from Minwoo Lee here is, look how much he's early extending now. He's really, really early extending a lot. And it's not something that's really talked about in terms of great players who do that move. But I can assure you, a lot of great players, a lot of major winners, including Jack Nicholas, the best of all time, arguably, do that move. So it's demonized a lot in instruction now. But, I mean, you'll see from Minwoo here, he does it a lot. And he is a phenomenon and he generates a lot of speed but look how much that club now shallows his lead wrist if we look at that will move into flexion again all these little things are adding up to create a great amount of ball speed considering he's only you know he's not the heaviest individual i mean he's quite tall but he's quite wiry so he has to use all these little stretch shortening cycles to create a lot of speed so you see how that wrist starts to move into flexion in the downswing really start to shallow. You'll see how he early extends quite a bit. And that's primarily because if we look at the toes, you can see how he's very much onto that lead toe and that lead heel is elevated. So if we zoom out a little bit, so we can see from face on and down the line, you'll see that he moves that shoulder, starts to move it now and then look at that lag you'll see with a lot of great players who shallow it really nicely that right elbow will be a lot lower than the left it's a great move to shallow the club you can see from face on sorry down the line how it is a lot lower now it's a great move like i said to shallow the club a lot of people who are steeper that right arm will be a lot higher now what i want you to take note of as well in that stretch shortening cycle that we're talking about look how, look at his belt buckle here. Look how it's almost facing the ball. Look at his chest. So again, we're creating tremendous sh stretch shortening cycle through the body. He's creating it through the wrists, as we talked about, through the lead shoulder. And it's all adding up to a tremendous amount of power. You can see from down the line how those hips are now clearing. They're open already. Not a lot of guys can do that. Not a lot of guys can. Bring it down. Bring it down just when lead hand hits that pocket and you'll see there i mean just look at the amount of lag he's got in his wrist it's a huge amount of of lag there it could create some issues for him he might get a little bit steep on the driver at times but just a great position for power and look at that butt it's almost facing back you know his belt buckle here is almost facing the, t the target which is just a tremendous amount of flexibility and not a lot of guys can do that now the problem that you might encounter is if we look at this just from a biomechanical standpoint so if we look look at where those hips are pointing so they're pointing around here and that chest is pointing here there's a tremendous amount of torque created through the lower back potentially so we could see as I mean, we ages that he could cause some issues patrick cantley had a similar sort of thing he had a very uh, a real stretch shortening cycle or x-factor stretch as it's commonly known in the golfing world between his thorax and his pelvis and that created some issues around his back so minwoo i'm sure he'll be hammering the gym but that could cause some issues if the core musculature is a little bit weak and he can't control specifically around the lumbar spine so that's one issue that he may encounter but then we'll see as he brings it down look he's look at his toes or his heels way way off the ground that's what causes that early extension that right knee is really driving out but i mean it's such a powerful move i mean most guys just can't get into that position look how much shaft lean he has 
with the driver. It's why a lot of guys are quite confused. He plays quite soft shafts in his driver because he needs to help with the spin. But I mean, it's, it's quite like John Ram in, in a lot of senses, how much lag he creates and how much those hands are in front of the club at an impact. Now, I just, I, I love this move. I think they can do a little bit of refinement on it just to protect his back and with with the short irons especially or the irons i think this move could create some issues the amount of i mean if we look again look from from here look how much he early extends there so there's a potential that he could get a little bit heel sided present present the hosel a little bit with the irons so that could cause some some issues but this move will will really help him be a great driver i think so and you know from if you look at anything those strokes gained if you're a great driver hit it long and far you're going to be a great great player so let's just take him a few more frames through you'll see again look how much he's on his toes still on the left hand side you can see on this newer swing this is a this is on the left from around um 2023 summertime whereas this is when he's got his Lululemon sponsorship, which is more 2024. And you can see how he's definitely worked on getting more through that heel here. You can see how he's still much on, on the toe. He just plants the heel down now, but you can see he's much earlier onto the toe in this newer swing in 2024. Now, really great extension through the ball. Again, this is another concern for injury for me, is look how long he keeps that head down for. So it's a lot of strain through the neck. Gonna guess he's left eye dominant, really common to see that. Look how long he keeps it down. Just a lot of strain that's gonna course through the cervical spine. Look, he's still head down, especially when you're creating such speeds that Minwoo Lee does. Do you know, I bet you he can clock up to 130, 135 ball uh, club head speed, which is a tremendous amount of strain to put through the body, but then he'll really get up through that pelvis and post on his left side and by what I mean by getting up through on that pelvis look at the belt loop look how much it drives from setup it drives down 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 and then up you can see how much movement there is through that pelvis and that helps him generate a hell of a lot of speed I think this guy's going to be around for a long time provided he doesn't get injured and he's a great, great talent. Expect big things for him in 2024.